What's up guys? Today we are doing a special episode of Rolling Academy. We are doing a tutorial slash review of the grinder cone roller. You've seen this tool on all my other videos. I use it as a stuffing tool. So I would take this off, use it as a stuffing tool to stuff the end of any blunt uh, joint, whatever it is. Um, today we're going to go in depth on how to use this rolling one, smoking, and uh, that's it. Let's get started. So first thing you're going to want to do is make a filter within the index card. Um, so this grinder cone roller has a hole right here for the filter. You'll put your filter in there. So it does require a larger filter than normal. So what I would do is cut yourself a filter and after using it a few times I've noticed that the filter, the perfect size filter is actually the exact same size as a king size rolling paper. So we'll get that, just do a basic spiral fold here. Basic spiral fold. So remember, normal fil a normal filter I'd roll would not be this big, but this grinder cone roller requires a larger filter. So we'll go ahead and stuff that right in there. So once it's stuffed in, we have to roll a king size paper. So I've noticed that with the gr grinder cone roller, you do have to take off just a little bit so we cut that part off and now we can use this stuffing tool as the guide for our pre-roll our pre-rolled cone so instead of rolling it straight across so now I have like both sheets both sides of this paper lined up you don't want to do it like that you want it to be aligned you want it to basically follow the curvature so we'll do it like that. Once you have it along, like you see this line right here, once it follows that line, you know it's straight. So there we will just start the roll up a little bit. Once you get it tucked under, then you're gonna lick off, we'll lick off camera. There it is, just licked it. Now we'll finish up the roll so we can have our pre-rolled cone. There it is, we have our pre-rolled cone. So all you gotta do to separate that, just hold onto the filter without grabbing the stuffing part and pull it right out. Okay. And then you'll wanna let go of the end of your filter that you just rolled, let it unravel a little to hold in the rest of the weed. You can use the stuffing tool if it got a little deformed to fix it up, make it perfectly circular again. Now we have a cone, pre-rolled cone. Put this on the side for right now. And next comes grinding the weed. So we've got some pretty good stuff today. Right here, it's called Fire OG. Fire OG. And as the name would imply, this shit is fire as fuck. Fire OG. All right, so we'll use that. All right. So one thing about this grinder cone roller, we're expecting all the weed that gets ground up to fall down those little holes there and get trapped into this funnel. So we'll get it started. So for this, you don't want to stuff it too much. If it's too packed, then the weed won't be able to go down. Put it on, stuff it, and then you'll see it's gonna start filling up down there, that chamber. Starting to fill up. I wish the holes in the grinder cone roller were, were a little larger, but we're not gonna complain about that too much. Keep on adding a little more. You're gonna just keep on repeating this until you have a good amount in the funnel. I might uh, 
fast forward this part a bit. All right, so we're back. Um, I didn't want to keep you guys on hold for too long, just watching me grind up some weed. So here it is, it's full. Um, didn't take me too long, it took me about another one or two minutes. Um, I think two minutes is a little stretch, it's probably about one minute. But for anyone who doesn't know how to roll a joint, you know, sometimes it could take you a lot more than one or two minutes to get a joint rolled. So if you don't know how to do it, it's more than worth the time. All right, so next step after this, we're gonna remove the stuffing tool part and then we're gonna just slip the cone right over the funnel. And there we're gonna be able to just turn it over and start dumping some of that funneled weed straight down. Just give it a few shakes. You can see it filling up right there. So when it's about halfway full, I like to take it off, put the stuffing tool, the funnel off and just pack it down a little. Okay, so it went from about half full to about a quarter full. So we'll just put that cap back on, repeat the exact same thing. Now remember, when you are stuffing it, right? So when you take it off here and you're stuffing it, you don't wanna stuff it too hard. If you stuff it too hard, it really messes up the smoke. So we'll just repeat this a few more times. Put the funnel on, shake, shake, shake until it all gets down there. It's a pretty high capacity funnel. I'd say that nugget that we put in there was about a gram and a half maybe, who knows. And let's keep on, keep it going. Shake, shake, shake. So if you want to get it full all the way to the end, you're going to have to, instead of putting the filter all the way in, you're going to have to put it in not all the way fully. Uh, you can give all those last few, uh, last few bit of space to get full. All right, so there it is. We have one cone prepared with the grinder cone roller. All right, for anyone who wants to purchase one of these, we got them on sale right now. They are, I'm not sure what the price is gonna be, we're, but we're gonna make a special flash sale price. All right, and the link to buy this is gonna be in the description. So take a look um, in the description, you'll see the link to these grinder cone rollers. There it is, my friends. If you did not know how to roll at all, and you could pull off something like this, I think that's a pretty nice accomplishment. All right, but as we do every episode, we will give this ignition. So we're gonna cut the tip off. We're gonna use our the pyro, multicolored. This looks super cool. It's like purple, blue, green. It's got some gold, some yellow. It has a bunch of colors on it. I love this one. And it is rechargeable, as we all know. So we're gonna take it like that, open it up. This is a cool shake activated one. We'll shake it once. It will turn on. You can see it there glowing under all this ashes. This gets a lot of use in my house. So I'm gonna shake it, light it up, put it to it. Definitely need to inhale a few times to get it uh, lit. So let's do that off camera. And there we have it one joint rolled with the grinder cone roller and rolling academy.